the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you four breakfast ideas that you should avoid at all costs, especially for weight loss. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for my channel because I upload new workout videos every single Thursday and useful tips every single Sunday. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive right into this video and the first breakfast that you should be avoiding at all costs are yogurts that have fruit in them. So I'm talking about the store yogurts that you buy that already has fruit included in them, whether that's at the top or the bottom. Now, I know that having a yogurt with fruit sounds extremely healthy and it's something that I always thought as well, but the problem is it's actually a trap. The reason it's a trap is because the fruit that's included in these yogurts are full of sh fake sugars, syrups and it only really has a tiny amount of fruit juice. Your best option if you do want to have a yogurt in the morning for your breakfast is to go and buy unsweetened yogurt or a Greek yogurt and add your own fruit, whether that's going to be berries like strawberries or raspberries, blueberries, or you do want to chop up some bananas or you want to add a bit of cinnamon onto your yogurt itself. Do not fall into the trap of buying a yogurt with these fruits already included in them because it's not going to help your waistline in the long run. Jumping straight into number two, the second breakfast idea that you guys should be avoiding is granola. Now again, I know granola sounds healthy, I don't know why, it just does sound healthy and it's something that we've been advertised to by saying that if you guys want to have a healthy breakfast, have some yogurt with granola or have now the problem with granola is actually a huge sin. The reason it's a huge sin is because it's packed with sugar and it's really a high calorie dense breakfast because it contains nuts, oils, sugar, and even dried fruit. Again, these things are just gonna be adding to your waistline. All it's gonna be doing is adding to your calories for the day and it's something that you should be avoiding. Again, there's so many breakfast options that you can have, but I would be avoiding granola at all costs. And have you actually ever seen an unsweetened granola when you really think about it? Probably not because they're all full of sugar. Now, the third breakfast that I would be avoiding is smoothies. And I'm talking about smoothies that are packed with fruit. Again, when you are thinking that you're going on a lower calorie diet or you're trying to be healthy, it's really easy to just opt for a smoothie because it's easy to consume on the go. But the problem is, is that a lot of smoothies are made with fruit and fruit equals sugar. Now, I know fruit is natural, and I know you're consuming natural sugars, but when you actually blend down your fruit into a smoothie, the British Heart Association actually states that blending down the fruit sugars, the natural sugar is actually getting released from the cell walls in the fruit itself, and you actually are then only left with free sugars. And free sugars are something that we should be avoiding at all costs, not only in our normal day-to-day -day diet, but again, especially something if you are trying to be healthy and lose weight. So if you're gonna opt for a smoothie, try and always go for a green smoothie that you can make from home that's either made with vegetables. There's loads of recipes online, but I do suggest steering clear of fruit smoothies. And also the other problem with having a smoothie is that sometimes when you are consuming liquid breakfasts, it actually leaves you hungry throughout the day and it doesn't satisfy that whole. And the final breakfast that I want to suggest avoiding is instant oats. Now again, I know that most people are going to opt for oats, especially if they're trying to be healthy and it is something that has been pushed in front of us for either if you're trying to get your good carbohydrate intake in. But the problem with the instant oats is that they are packed with sugar. If you actually have a look at say Quaker's oats in front of them, it is packed with so much sugar. It's highly processed and it actually eliminates all the good fiber and nutrients that you need in your body. So I highly suggest steering clear of any instant oats. And if you do crave oats in the morning, just make your own. And if you do have a sweet tooth like I do, just add some cinnamon on top. It tastes just as nice and it's full of all the nutrition and fiber that you need from your diet. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and you enjoyed learning the four breakfasts that I highly suggest avoiding at all costs, especially for weight loss. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because I upload a new workout video every single Thursday and useful tips every single Sunday. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye! So I hope you guys are interested.